In this video, I will show you how you can turn summer into autumn. I recently had a shoot with a client. We were going to shoot the uh, autumn campaign for um, this shopping mall in Gothenburg. And we shot this in the beginning of September in southwest part of Sweden. It was a beautiful day. The sun was shining and we had about 20 degrees outside. It felt pretty much like summer. It looked pretty much like summer as well. <laughs> Thankfully, I use DaVinci Resolve to edit and grade with. And it's pretty easy in DaVinci to do color shifts. Let's um, jump into Resolve and I will show you how I do it. Okay, so we're inside Resolve and this is the shot we will be working with. Let's head into the color tab. Here you can see my typical node tree. What I've done here is obviously I have already done a quick grade here. I will not go through all the nodes right now. So this is shot on my A7S 3 and I shoot pretty much always in S-Log 3 and the color space is actually not set to... I know a lot of people use this sign or a cine but I usually shoot in S gamut 3. The skin tone looks a bit more nice for me in S gamut 3. I just convert it with the color space transform. Then I apply, um, you know, a quick lookup table. I, I tend to go with some kind of film look. And this is just a built in uh, Rec 709 Kodak 2383D60. And what I usually do is I apply it on a node and then I bring down the key output of that node to, you know, if I turn it off, you can see it just have a, it just, yeah, it just get a little touch of it. After I applied the lookup table, I have a, a single node here that I have labeled greens. And what I want to do to make this whole scene look a bit more autumn, I want to take all the green leaves here in the background and turn them more towards the yellowish. And I will also make them a bit more desaturated. So my way of doing this is that I go into the qualifier here. And then I just pick a green spot and I also tend to drag it a little bit over a few of the leaves. So we get a bit more of all those hues. And now I go up here and turn the highlights on because I just want to see what I've selected. And from here I just fine tune it uh, with the qualifier here. I just drag and see what I'm grabbing and okay, now I'm grabbing her jacket. Let's not do that for now. And then we can just take the saturation and drag up and down to get the feel for what we can grab more. But I think everything is grabbed here. Then I will go into the luminance and we will drag that down to grab some more. And then the high end of the luminance and grab it and just see what we can grab or cut out. And here you could cut out the white pillars more, but for this tutorial, I'm not gonna bother with that. And what I usually do then is just, I grab the denoise and slightly go upwards. I just do this until I see like it has no sharp edges. Okay. So now we have grabbed all the green stuff. What I usually do now is that I grab a window. I want to make an inverted window and put it around the model's face. We will just grab this and make it make it like this somewhere, somewhere around here. Then we will invert it. Boom. And now nothing inside this window is affected. We can just drag this around and you see that this is big, a big blob which is not affected. Now, when I have this window creator on her face, I will just go ahead to the tracker and I will hit this track forward and reverse. And resolve is pretty awesome. So it's almost 
all the time. Thing I do is I go into the color wrapper that you have the qualifier. So if I take the qualifier here and move it around where the greens are in the color wrapper, it's around here. You can see it's basically the same place. What I do now is just I, I grab these two points and I start to drag them down to desaturate and drag them further up to drag those colors towards the yellow and red. Now, if we make a before and after, you can see now we have this green summerish color. And if I turn it on, we have this desaturated a little bit more towards the yellowish feel to the leaves. We could grab like, for example, the offset and drag it a little bit towards the red. It's a very big difference now. Almost almost too big of a difference, but we will have this for for the for the purpose of the video. It's very easy and it's very a very fun way of doing it. And if we go into the um, window, you can see here how how much if we just shift this, you can see how much of a of a difference it makes. The window maybe is an unnecessary step, but I mean, why not? It's better safe than sorry. Okay, that is how I do those types of color shifts. And if you have a better way or a way that you think is more correct to do it, please share that with me, comment that or just send me an email. Okay, that's all for me. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something or hope you have some feedback to give me. And see you in another video. Bye.